Hello friends, it is Kendra. We are doing something a bit different today. That's why I'm in my car here. Uh, we are going to be doing a grocery haul. I've got my list here. Um, I'm gonna go head to the store, um, get our groceries for the week. Luckily, we don't need any meats this week. I try to do that like every other week, so it um, falls on like a pay week. So that way I have more money because meats are expensive. Um, but yeah, I I really enjoy watching other people's grocery hauls. So that's why I decided I'm gonna do one today. So I'm gonna take this car to the car wash first actually, and then, then we'll go to the grocery store. So, all right, I will see you in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, back in the store. We're gonna do a groceries haul and we're gonna start with the cold stuff so I can put it away. So, two gallons of milk. Two creamers. We always get the zero sugar kind. Tastes like marshmallows. I had to, just for fun. Oh, I'm excited. There also was no blue raspberry drink flavoring, so I just, I had to. Um, carton of eggs. I normally buy 18 at a time. Since these are in front of me. Bananas. And I got four, four gala apples. <laughs> um, sour cream, broccoli, shredded cheese, butter, string cheese. Okay, so 
Frasco. My garlic paste. <laughs> Organize this little long. Herbs. I got dill, cilantro, and parsley. I also got some buttermilk. I'm gonna make some ranch. This is Trid's favorite dip, buffalo chicken dip. Uh, but it's like five dollars per container. But he will eat a whole one of these as a snack when he's really hungry. Um, and, and then I got a big old thing of laundry detergent. Two things of tortilla chips. And then one more bag, which is our like pantry bag. Two liquid IV, the strawberry flavor. They were out of the 15 packs, unfortunately, so I had to buy two of these. Croutons. This thing of ranch, this is for Trish. Uh, syrup. Pancake mix, sugar, Dijon mustard, some Rotel. This is the uh, diced tomatoes with lime juice and cilantro. And last but not least, two cans of pinto beans. So here is the aftermath of my unloading and the dog food over there. So let's put all this away. Alrighty friends, so that is my grocery haul for today. Um, I also thought I would include um, how much I spent. Kind of more than I thought it was gonna be. Um, I spent a total of $175.55. Um, and I also like to go through and like look at my receipt and see what I'm spending the most on. Um, but actually, for the most part, nothing was crazy expensive, except for, I see, the dog food was like $30 in and of itself, and the laundry detergent was like $20, so that's $50 right there. Um, but those items, I don't buy a lot, like that giant thing of laundry detergent is gonna last a really long time, and the dog food will last like over a month, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, that is, what I got this week and I also thought I would share the meals uh, that I plan to make with all this food. So uh, today is Saturday, uh, June 10th. Tonight we are going to be making burgers and fries. Tomorrow we are going to be making, um, and these are just dinners, I just want to clarify that. Um, <laughs> Tomorrow we are making a breakfast sausage hash for dinner, which is gonna include like uh, green pepper, potatoes, cheese, onion, uh, breakfast sausage, all sorts of good stuff in there. Um, and then Monday, we're gonna have a shepherd's pie. Uh, well, it's gonna be a beef shepherd's pie, so it's not exactly a shepherd's pie, but it's mashed potatoes, carrots, celery, gravy, and meat all mixed together, yum. Uh, on Tuesday, we are going to have 
um, some lemon herb chicken. I make this like really good sauce that goes with it. Um, and we're probably gonna roast potatoes and uh, broccoli. Wednesday, we're gonna make huevos rancheros, which is delicious, so good, which is why I got pinto beans, queso fresco, that rotel, um, and we did need more eggs. And then Thursday, we are just gonna go really easy with a hamburger helper. And uh, Friday is payday, which normally on paydays, this is what I'm reading off of. Uh, this is how I like do my weekly meal plan. <laughs> um, so I can kind of not repeat too many meals throughout the month. Um, but yeah, and then Friday is payday. So normally those are the days we treat ourselves and we will uh, get, I would say dine out is what I write, but we normally just go pick something up like Jersey Mike's or pizza or McDonald's, honestly, like something that's really fast and easy because by Friday, we are so tired, we are done for the week and we are just ready for the weekend. So uh, yeah, every other Friday is normally the days that we eat out. Uh, and that really helps us to cut down on like eating out all the time and this meal planning really helps me to stick to only the things that we need um and honestly i still have like you saw my fridge is still decently full my pantry is still really full i probably could have bought less um and tried to use more of what i had but it just it is what it is it's never gonna be completely perfect and i'm never gonna have like a completely empty pantry at the end of the week um yeah it just doesn't work like that especially when i have like bulk baking ingredients like that's why i needed a little bit more sugar sometimes i'll need a little more flour like you just accumulate things when you have a house so yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this grocery haul please give this video a thumbs up like it subscribe to my channel share it with your friends if you want to like do whatever you want to do but it would really help me out if you hit that hit that like button and yeah maybe give me a comment down below let me know if you like this kind of video what you think i should include what you don't think i should include did you like me telling you how much I spent or the recipes that I plan on making, let me know down below. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I really, for some reason, I love watching other people's grocery hauls. I just find it so interesting because this is like my main household job, I feel like, is planning meals and cooking the food and making sure it just kind of stays in a good like flow of things um, and that like we're not under using ingredients and like spending a lot of money on things that end up going bad so yeah anyway i'm rambling on like i always do so uh i love you guys i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one